And Reese joins us live from Lawrence County with a look at how they're stretching their resources to get books in the hands as, of as many kids as possible. Good morning, Wanye. Well, good Thursday morning, Caitlin. Right now I'm at the Lawrence County Library and this library right here is home for the more than 47,000 people who live here, plus five other counties like Washington and Hancock County. But I got a chance to speak with Mr. Virgil Lawrence. He's a librarian here and he says that they are using every dollar to make sure that they're keeping books in students' hands. When the more than 40,000 people in Lawrence County need a free book, all the roads lead here to the Lawrence County Library. Without it, some say they would be lost. I don't really know. I would have to search around to try to find where I could find another library because uh, it's been very helpful to me. Cindy Wells drives 20 minutes along the rural roads of southern Lawrence County to get to these bookshelves. I also have been doing family research, so I come to the Heritage Center. She's far from the only regular visitor. Virgil Lawrence works here and says more than 1,000 people come through the doors daily. Thanks to Perry Winkle and the Fosbury's Pixie Hall. A 2003 study from the National Assessment of Adult Literacy justifies the need. The study shows 20% of people in Lawrence County lack basic literacy skills. Fiction's down here with our magazines. Without this library, Lawrence fears those numbers would climb higher. We can do digital outreach which assists people with homework, assists people with looking for jobs and applying for jobs. He says they work with schools to host weekly events for children. To have as much interaction as possible, that includes activities and events to, to try to get them here. It may be the only library in Central Georgia's largest county by geography, but Lawrence says it can make a world of a difference. It's important that every community has a library. Because for Wells, it's not just bringing people in Lawrence County to the library, it's offering them a chance to travel far beyond county lines. One thing I found as I was a child reading is that it can take you anywhere you want to go. So if you can read a story and you have an imagination, you can do that. Well, right now I'm being joined by the Dublin City School Superintendent, Dr. Fred Williams. Thank you so much for waking up with us. So with some low literacy rates, what are you all doing in the city to make sure these kids are reading? Well, one thing we're doing is that we uh, do universal screeners, the reading inventory uh, to help us understand where our students are uh, that we have in-house. Also, uh, we're reaching out to community to really uh, work with kids from birth to four, uh, giving them those skills that they need prior to coming to school. All right, perfect. And you know, we do have those more rural areas here in the community in Lawrence County. How are you all also going out there to make sure that students are reading also? Well, we have strategic partnerships such as with our police department and our fire department and they actually come in and read to our kids and participate with them. And also we do different workshops for parents in the community to help them understand how students are reading. We have this campaign, uh, One Book Dublin, to make Dublin the city of readers. And here's your copy. Oh, how, thank you so how much. How to catch a leprechaun. <laughs> and so we just have some different things that we're doing through strategic partnerships with Retired Teachers Association, other things to help get kids reading. Alrighty then, and that's the perfect segue. So what can parents do at home to make sure that, you know, parents are getting their kids to read and let's make it a little quick, please. <laughs> <laughs> parents uh, are able just to read to their children and, and, and just talk to them. Those are some big things that parents can do at home. All right, so I would shake your hand, but my hands are totally full right now. Thank you so much for waking up with us. And Caitlin, I'm going to be heading to Hillcrest Elementary School this morning to read. So I'm looking forward to seeing the kids there and also their teachers. For now, live in Dublin, Wanye Reese, 13 WMAZ News.